Hey, how's it going, Ranger fans? Uh, Ego the Visual Culturist back again, this time with another Heroes of the Grid. Um, small box unboxing, this time Legendary Rangers Forever Rangers pack featuring Mighty Morphin Yellow, Mighty Morphin Red, Alpha 5, Mighty Morphin Black, and Mighty Morphin Pink. So, um, quick note about this. Each of these character cards have already been previously released. If you have the Kickstarter um, bonus uh, box, you have all of the character cards already. So the only thing that this is going to add that I don't have is combat deck suited to Rocky, Catherine, um, Aisha, and Adam. Also a second set of uh, a second combat deck for Alpha and the Thunder Zords. Um, so, and two new Megazord cards. So, excited about that. We need Thunderzord power now. Uh, still requires the base game to play. Remind you, these are just combat cards. You still need the base game for the locations and the foot soldiers. Um, so, yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and open this thing up, and I will showcase the, uh, the combat cards, which are the same from the Kickstarter, and the new... Uh, combat deck and Thunder Megazords and Thunder Zords. There we go. I got the seal broken. Don't know if you can hear the plastic coming off for everyone's ASMR hearing pleasure, but here we go. Try to get every every bubble, every every rip. Just about there, it's coming off. She's just about open. Oh, there we go, that was it. Yeah. Everyone's gonna love that on the audio side. Throw that off to the side. And let's open her up. Let's see what we got here. So, of course, per usual, uh, go get your Ranger packs. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know, go get the Tommy Oliver, Zeo Ranger, Mega Goldar. Go read your comics. Uh, A Shattered Grid, of course. Highly, highly, highly recommend. Uh, get your trade, trade volumes, trade paperbacks, all that good stuff. Local comic book shop from the local game store. Um... There we go. Ooh, we got, that's right. We get new minis for everyone except Billy, unfortunately. <laughs> a little sad, but we did get a different alpha. Billy stands alone. No problem with that, of course. He's the big brain. Um, another instruction um, sheet, single page, double-sided. Uh, ooh, okay, we got some big stuff. Let me read this really quick. So. Legendary Ranger Forever Rangers Pack. We need Thunderzord power now. Tommy Oliver. The Power Rangers have upgraded their Dinozords to the brand new Thunderzords. When the original Mighty Morphin team moves on to other adventures, a new team of Rangers arrives in Angel Grove to inherit their responsibilities. Adam Park, Rocky DeSantos, Aisha Campbell, and Cat Hillard have come to take the fight to the next level. An Alpha 5 is ready in the command center to provide some helpful advice for the new Mighty Morphin team. Evil won't know what hit him. This expansion increases the available options for the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and further expands a legendary ranger mode, a system which allows you to construct your own custom ranger combat decks. So we get five new figures, uh, five character cards, all of which are the same. Again, if you already have the Kickstarter box, you have these. 
Um, five new combat, uh, 50 combat cards, six Zord cards, two Megazord cards, and rules for integrating expansion content. Uh, this expansion adds new Ranger and Zord options. Follow the rules in the book of the base game rulebook, page 17 to 18, for adding new content to your games. Variant rule basic attacks. Rangers now have the option to perform basic attacks in battle. A basic attack is an attack with only one die. Basic attacks are relatively weak, but they can be useful in certain situations. As a ranger turn in battle, any participating ranger may discard a card from their hand to perform a basic attack. Basic attacks can still be modified by ranger abilities, zord abilities, etc. Reactions can be played in response to basic attacks. We recommend including this new rule in every game of Heroes of the Grid, no matter which sets or expansions are in play. So cool, so now you can discard a card from your hand to do a one die attack. Uh, that would actually, that changes up the game quite a bit because there have been times where I've had to uh, sit pretty and just hope to God I live. <laughs> Pray to the Morphin Masters. Um, okay, so replacement rangers. So, now you can customize your Mighty Morphin Power Rangers by mixing and matching cards from both decks of the same color. So that means Rocky can be mixed with Jason and so on and so forth. Um... After you choose your ranger, you can pick any combination of combat cards in Zord, in Zord card that share the ranger's colors. For example, if you are playing as Adam Park, you could choose either of the two Mighty Morphin Black decks and can choose either the Mastodon or the Lion Thunder Zord. So you can mix and match. Um, good variety. You can also customize your combat deck by swapping cards with the other deck of the same color. You can only swap cards with identical shield values. For example, if you were playing as Training Kwan, you could choose the Mighty Morphin Yellow deck from the base game, but then swap out Sabertooth Strike cards for uh, Backhand Slash cards. Very cool, very nice. Uh, it says, this expansion does not have new cards for Mighty Morphin Blue. However, Billy Cranston and Alpha 5 often work closely together, so you may treat Alpha 5 as Mighty Morphin Blue for the purposes of these customization options. So then... Technically, Billy would get the most customization since there's two different alpha um, uh, combat decks and a single Billy. You can swap all three interchange with Billy. So he doesn't get another figure, but he has one more set of options than everybody else. Way to go, Billy. There's got to show the love to the Blue Ranger. <laughs> uh, legendary Ranger mode. So... If you want to create even more powerful combinations, Legendary Ranger Mode gives you the ultimate flexibility. Construct your own custom Ranger combat decks using cards from any set ever released. Important! This game mode is not compatible with other modes, ergo two-player mode, in which players control two Rangers each. When choosing which Ranger to play, you may choose multiple Rangers instead. If you do take the matching figures, character cards, and combat decks, you must then construct a new 10-card combat deck made up of combat cards from those decks. Your combat deck cannot contain more than two cards with the same name, and it must follow one of three possible formulas so that it has 20 shields total. And here are the formulas, so custom deck A is 3, 1 shield, 4, 2 shields, 3, 3 shields. Uh, custom deck B is 2, 2 cards with a shield, 6 cards with 2 shields, and 2 more cards with 3 shields. And finally, custom deck C, which is 1 card with 1 shield, 8 cards with 2 shields, and a single card with three shields. So after constructing your combat deck, you may choose your active ranger, place the matching character card face up in your play area, with your other character cards in a stack beneath it. Put the matching figure in play, and with your other figure sets aside for now. When choosing which Zord card to use, you may choose any one Zord card that matches the rangers associated with your combat deck. It does not have to be the Zord card that matches your active ranger. During your game, you may only use the special ability of your active character card. You may not use the special abilities of inactive character cards. When you move, when you perform a move or recover action, you may choose a new active ranger, move the new active ranger card to the top of your stack, place the new active figure in your current location, and remove the inactive figure. Uh, pretty cool. I'll, I'll have to try that out. That, that could be a lot of fun, actually. There is a, a ton of variety in this game, and it's... I have noticed that the more expansions you get, like... <laughs> the possibilities begin to become endless. <laughs> Near limitless, that's what I want to say. Uh, Alpha 5, so Alpha 5 has two different modes, Servant of Zordon and Autonomous Support. 
Choose the mode that best suits your uh, team's play style. So Servant of Zordon. In this mode, Alpha 5 is a playable character that one player controls. Functioning just like any ranger would, Alpha 5's ability allows him to participate in battles that occur in outer locations. Alpha 5 cannot be affected by enemy cards in these battles, but it can still benefit from combat cards, ranger abilities, and zord abilities. For all gameplay purposes, Alpha 5 is considered to be a ranger in this mode. And then we have Autonomous Support. So in this mode, Alpha 5 is a non-playable support character, instead providing enhanced tactical options for the whole team. Place the Alpha 5 character card in deck next to the power board. Reveal three cards from the deck, place them in a face-up row. Alpha 5's ability allows players to play Alpha 5 cards from the row by discarding cards from their hand. For all gameplay purposes, Alpha 5 is not considered to be a ranger in this mode. So, cool. Interesting. They've, uh... They've... I guess, um... Balance or structure the Legendary Ranger mode from the Tommy Oliver Legendary Ranger pack. And again, they just reintroduced uh, the Alpha Alpha rule set um, from the Kickstarter box. Uh, if you don't have it. So if you don't have the Kickstarter box, this is another way to get Alpha. So again, taking a look at the figures really quick. Uh, we got Alpha 5, Adam, uh, Cat, Aisha, Rocky... No Billy, but he get he can combine his deck with the two other alphas, so there's that. Um, let's go ahead and do that really quick. Take these bad boys out. Um, yeah, exact same character cards. So if you have the Kickstarter um, expansion, you already have these, so this might just be another set. I'll keep this... Uh, Put away for now. Oh boy, I hate when the tape doesn't rip in one solid piece. And this was the one that was primed. Oh, wow, it just completely... All right, well... Tape that back on. I do need a storage solution for figures. Um, again, I'm going to have these in a separate angle for your viewing pleasure. Uh, I just want to take out the combat cards. There should be... 50, so 50 new combat cards. Two Megazords and... Six new Zords? Something like that? Okay, so I'm gonna get these sleeved really quick before I uh, take them uh, as I take them out. So once I have them sleeved, we'll be back and we'll go through the character cards, um, the Megazord cards, and the Zord cards. So uh, stick around. We'll get to that shortly. Okay, everybody, I finally got everything sleeved. Now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at all the Ranger uh, combat cards, um, Zords, and abilities. So. Uh, again, we have uh, Rocky DeSantos, who's Muddy Morphin Red. And I should state that, again, uh, just like the Kickstarter box, if you do already have it, you do already have a set of the, the Rangers from this pack. But you do get the new deck of cards, which have the same uh, Blade Blaster and Power Weapons, um, but a new, uh, a new um, set of doubles. And the Thunder Zords, so... Again, uh, let's go ahead and start taking a look. So, uh, uh, Mighty Morphin Red's character ability is Bravery. When you reveal a card for defense, if that card would be placed on the bottom of your deck, you may add it to your hand instead. And with the Red Dragon Thunder Zord, exhaust this card when any ranger performs an attack. Add one die to that attack. Any ranger may discard one card to add two more dice to that attack. And we have two copies of Sturdy Blow which is a one dice, one damage attack with a reveal reaction that reads, when this card is revealed for defense, it gains plus one shield. We have two copies of Square Up, which is a zero energy cost reaction. Play this card at the end of any turn in battle. If you suffer damage during this turn, gain one energy and place this card on the top of your deck. We have two copies of Haymaker, which is a one energy cost, one die attack that reads, add one die to this attack for each shield on the top card of your discard pile. And then we have two copies of Risky Moves, which is a one energy cost maneuver that reads, suffer up to three damage. 
Another ranger may immediately play one card. If it is an attack card, add a number of dice to that attack equal to the amount of damage you suffered. And of course we have uh, our repeats, which is Blade Blaster. A variable energy cost special attack that reads, This attack deals an amount of damage equal to the amount of energy spent to play this card. You may divide this damage among any number of targets. And of course the Power Weapon, which is a Power Sword, a 3 energy cost. 5 die attack that reads, The next time any ranger performs an attack during this battle, add 2 dice to that attack. So next we're going to go ahead and take a look at Adam Park, the Black Ranger. So here we are, here's Adam Park, Mighty Morphin Black, whose character ability is adaptable. Once per battle, you may swap a card from your hand with the top card of your discard pile. And the Lion Thunder Zord, exhaust this card during any ranger turn in battle, discard one foot soldier card instead of playing a card. We have two copies of Exploit Opening, which is a zero energy cost reaction that reads, play this card when another ranger defeats an enemy card with an attack. Deal one damage to an enemy card adjacent to the target. We have two copies of Leapfrog Strike, which is a zero energy cost, two dice attack. That reads, while this card is on the top of your discard pile, gain one energy each time you perform an attack. We also have two copies of Rapid Hit, which is a zero energy cost, one die attack. That reads, after you resolve this attack, perform a second attack with one die. While this card is the top card of your discard pile, add one die to each of your attacks. We have two copies of Cosmic Cannon. When this card is the top card of your discard pile, ignore the guard keyword when choosing targets for your attacks. And of course we have Blade Blaster, which is a variable energy cost, special attack. And of course his power weapon, which is the Power Axe, a 3 energy cost, 3 die attack that reads, After rolling, choose 2 die from this attack. Deal that much damage to an enemy card adjacent to the target. Next we're going to take a look at the Pink Ranger, Cat Hillard. So here we have uh, Cat Hillard. Mighty Morphin Pink, whose character ability is Agile. When you suffer damage, before revealing a card for defense, you may look at the top two cards of your deck and put them back in any order. And when we have the Firebird Thunder Zord, we can exhaust this card, shuffle any ranger's deck, then reveal the top card of your deck, gaining an amount of energy equal to the card's shield value. We have two copies of Agile Shot, which is a zero energy cost, two die attack with a reveal reaction. When this card is revealed for defense, you may swap it with a card from your hand. Apply the shield value of that card instead. We have two copies of Cat's Grace, which is a zero energy cost maneuver that reads, reveal the top card of your deck. If it is an attack, you may immediately play it and add one die to the attack. You may place this card on the bottom of your deck instead of discarding it. We have two copies of Fancy Footwork, which is a zero energy cost reaction that reads, play this card when any ranger suffers damage. Gain one energy. That ranger may look at the top two cards of their deck and place each card in the top or bottom of their deck in any order. We have two copies of Tai Chi Combo, which is a zero energy cost, two die attack. That reads, look at the top two cards of your deck. Place each card in the top or bottom of your deck in any order. And then of course we have Blade Blaster, which is a variable energy cost, special attack, and of course our power weapon, the Power Bow, a three energy cost, six die attack that reads, ignore the guard keyword when choosing a target for this attack. Next, we're going to be taking a look at Aisha Campbell, the Yellow Ranger. Here we are, we have Aisha Campbell, the Mighty Morphin Yellow Ranger, whose character ability is Momentum, that reads, Once per battle, after you defeat an enemy card with an attack, gain one energy. There's also the Griffin Thunder Zord. Exhaust this card after any ranger plays a card. That ranger may immediately play another card with the same name. Then that ranger may draw one card. We have two copies of Double Up, which is a zero energy cost maneuver that reads, Any ranger may search their deck and discard pile for two cards with the same name and add them both to their hand. If they search their deck, they must shuffle it. We have two copies of Snap Kick, which is a zero energy cost, two dice attack that reads, Add one die to this attack if this card was not the first card played during this turn. We have two copies of Unstoppable Force, which is a zero energy cost reaction that reads, Play this card when any ranger defeats an enemy card. Remove all access hit tokens on the card and gain that much energy. We have two copies of Griffin Strike, which is a one energy cost to die attack that reads, after you resolve this attack, you may draw one card. If you do, you may immediately play one card with an energy cost of zero. And of course we have the variable energy cost Blade Blaster special attack. We have Power Daggers, which is a three energy cost four dice attack that reads, after you resolve this attack, a ranger of your choice may immediately play one card. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at Alpha 5. Here we are with Alpha 5. As you can see, his character card has different artwork compared to the Kickstarter box Alpha 5, which you can see this is from the Legendary Rangers Forever 
and this is from the Kickstarter uh, box. Again, this is the different artwork that you can see. Um, Legendary Rangers Forever uh, pack and the Kickstarter. They do the same thing, they're just, uh, you know, they simplified the wording, the text. So here we are looking at Alpha 5, Servant of Zordon. Mission Control. While your figure is in the command center, you may participate in battles taking place in outer locations. If you do, you are not considered to be in the battle for the purposes of enemy card effects. And then here's his flip side. Alpha 5, Autonomous Support, Non-Player Variant. A friend indeed. At the start of each round, reveal cards from the Alpha 5 deck to reveal the row, max 3. Any arranger may discard one card from their hand to play an Alpha 5 card from the row. After resolving it, place it on the bottom of the Alpha 5 deck. And since the, uh, the rule sheet that came with the Legendary Rangers Forever uh, pack stated that Alpha 5 works closely with Billy, I figured this would be a good place to show off the Unicorn Thunderzord that says exhaust this card choose a number of cards in a ranger discard pile with a total of up to four shields place those cards on the top of their respective rangers decks in any order and then we have two copies of combat protocol which is a zero energy cost maneuver another ranger may perform an attack with two dice that ranger may choose to either re-roll any number of dice during that attack or gain one energy we have two copies of Energy Barrier, which is a zero energy cost reaction that reads, Play this card when any ranger suffers damage. Roll three dice. Reduce that damage by the number of hit results rolled. Two copies of Coordination, which is a one energy cost reaction that reads, Play this card before another ranger performs an attack. Add one die to that attack. That ranger may return that card to the hand instead of discarding it. Two copies of Team Effort, which is a one energy cost reaction that reads, Play this card after any ranger plays an attack card with an energy cost of zero. Another ranger may immediately play one card. We have a single copy of Zord Maintenance, which is a zero energy cost maneuver that reads, Gain one energy. Ready one exhausted Zord card of your choice. And a single copy of Battle Teleport, which is a two energy cost maneuver that reads, Move any ranger from the command center to an outer location of your choice. If a battle is currently taking place in that location, that ranger may immediately play one card. And now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the Megazord cards. So here we have two Megazords and a new um, universal Zord for any of the Mighty Morphin Rangers. So first up we have the Thunder Megazord. Each time any Ranger performs an attack, they may reroll any number of dice once. We have the regular Zord Power Blaster, any Mighty Morphin Ranger. Once per Ranger turn in battle, any Ranger may discard a card to place one hit token on this card, max 5. Exhaust this card at the end of a battle to remove all hit tokens from it and roll an equal number of dice. Deal that much damage divided as you choose among enemy cards. And finally, our second Megazord, the Mega Tiger Zord. Exhaust this card to place the Megazord token in any location. At the end of each battle in that location, roll 5 dice. Deal that much damage divided as you choose among enemy cards. Okay everyone, so here we are at the uh, Sculpted Figure Showcase for Power Rangers Heroes of the Grid, the Legendary Rangers Forever Rangers Pack. And we're going to go ahead and look at Mighty Morphin Red, Rocky. So we can see, we still got the Power Sword in hand, looking with a very similar, but yet different uh, action pose, hero pose. So you can see, very nice. We got the Blade Blaster. Of course, we got the Power Sword. Next, we're going to go ahead and take a look at Adam, Mighty Morphin Black. So here we are. We have Adam as the second uh, Black Mighty Morphin Power Ranger. And he's got his Power Axe in Cannon Mode. I do like that uh, of the original power power weapons, this one did have an alternative fire mode, so it's nice that it's represented here.
There we go. So next up, we're going to go ahead and take a look at Aisha, Mighty Morphin Yellow. So here we have Aisha, the second Mighty Morphin Yellow Power Ranger. Yep, the power daggers a little bit. Again, very similar hero poses. Um, you know, a little bit different. Still, very nice. Again, the cool thing to note about these, these uh, figures is that they all have the Blade Blaster sidearm on them, so very nice to have that represented. It was a little thing that was missing from the original uh, core team, so I'm, I'm glad it's here. <laughs> so again, very nice. And then next we're going to go ahead and take a look look at uh, Catherine, the pink Mighty Morphin Power Ranger. So here we have Catherine as the second uh, Mighty Morphin Pink Ranger, you know, after Kimberly. So again, very nice. Very nice hero pose, again with the power bow. Again, featuring the Blade Blaster sidearm. Pretty cool. Very awesome. And then last but not least, we have one more special ranger to take a look at. And it's none other than Alpha 5. So we have an alternate sculpt of Alpha 5 as well. With this one, he has his hands uh, raised in the air. Whereas the Deluxe Edition Kickstarter box, he had his arms down in an ay 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 pose. Although this one could also be considered an ay 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 pose. Again, great detail in his legs, his armor, his visor. Always nice, the, uh, the thunder symbol on his chest. So very cool, very cool. And that's going to about do it for the Power Rangers Heroes of the Grid uh, Legendary Rangers Forever Rangers Pack Sculpted Figure Showcase. And that was the Power Rangers Heroes of the Grid Legendary Rangers Forever Rangers Pack featuring Mighty Morphin Yellow, Mighty Morphin Red, Alpha 5, Mighty Morphin Black, and Mighty Morphin Pink. Um, some really good uh, combat decks. Uh, definitely going to be a new style of play. I can already see how some of them really gel together. So it'd be interesting to play as a full team of them. But um, yeah, that's going to do it. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. I have many more, like I've said, tons more uh, expansions to unbox and, and go through. But as always, if you liked this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell uh, so you can stay up to date in all videos I release and my unboxing series of the Heroes of the Grid uh, board game line. And of course, if you'd like to see me play this game with friends, sometimes by myself, sometimes remotely with uh, viewers, community members, feel free to check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Cultist where I play usually Sundays for my tabletop stream segment. I'm currently making my way through the Kickstarter expansion content. I've successfully gone through the base game, uh, Monsters and Boss, and I'm making my way through the Kickstarter content bosses and monsters. So if you'd like to come cheer me on, ask me questions, hang out, check out the game in action, uh, feel free to stop by. Otherwise, I think that's going to do it. So until, uh, until next time, I'm Eagle the Visual Culturist signing out. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, Ranger fans.